What's going on, everybody? So today I just want to take a few minutes and talk about the classes for season 28 upcoming and maybe give you guys some idea on what class to pick. Now, I did make a video talking about the leveling kind of tier list in which what classes are the best one to 70, but that also doesn't really give you an idea on what to expect after that and i have done a lot of testing specifically on both the necromancer the wizard and on the demon hunter those three uh however from all the research as well as the new season mechanics that i've done all classes are going to be amazing not because they're all going to be amazing compared to each other and what i mean by that is there are clearly winners um and there are clearly builds that are way better the tall rasha wizard build really powerful corpse explosion uh legacy of dreams for the necro so good uh there's a lot of other builds that are just really really good uh nats demon hunters uh or demon hunter here there's the ue demon hunter super super powerful there's so many different builds that are really really good now especially due to the changes and in fact a lot of the monk builds are really really well good as well especially with the recent changes however what I mean by all classes are great, but not to each other. As I said, there are winners, but every class is a winner compared to every other season before. And that's the important part. There are certain builds that are gonna be super, super viable due to the resource on crit, where you're actually gonna be able to use builds that otherwise didn't really function properly due to the resources not being there for you when you're running around. Also, this season offers a massive damage buff where every other season previously, while you did get damage, you also, in this season, get a damage reduction buff, which is not something that we've seen almost ever. And so what this does is it not only makes builds in general just really, really tanky, but it also, you're going to get a massive damage buff on top of that, while also getting all these quality of life features, allowing you to speed through the processes uh, that you need to to go ahead and get to the later game. Uh, you know greater rift speed farms you know 120 plus 110 plus something like that where you're you're speed running it and you're actually building out your build there are so many different ways to approach this that's what i want to say before i talk about any of the classes um and give you guys maybe some guidance on where to head you really can't go wrong at all here starting out in season 28 if you plan on trying to push to towards greater rift 150 or even just enjoy the game and build out your build from 110 plus you pretty much can't go wrong with any class and therefore just pick what you want to play but if you're looking for a little bit more of okay i'm looking for the fastest the most dominant class i would say that there's a couple classes to pick starting out in season 28 first off we have the demon hunter Demon Hunter is going to be one of the fastest speed farming T16 classes. When you're starting out 1 to 70, we've already talked about how the Necromancer is extremely, extremely fast. Once you reach 70 and you start to get your first build, it's probably not going to be 70. It might be like Paragon 100, Paragon 200, something like that. And you start to build and put together your set. UE and strafing with the Nat set where you're just running through. You could speed through with like 100, 150% increased movement speed, especially with the 25% increased movement speed from the altar. And you can just run through T16 riffs as well as greater riffs and just absolutely annihilate everything in your path. In fact, that's kind of one of the strategies that we're going to be running myself as a couple of people I'm playing with. I'm going to be running Necro to help us through that early leveling process. And then while I'm taking a little bit longer to get up and running after reaching that level 70, now that we are level 70, we're starting to get Paragon levels. Um, my friends are gonna go ahead and build out their build. As soon as they get, you know, their six piece set, they don't even need damage increases. They don't even need min max their stats to maybe get the damage that you need to. They can just immediately run in and just annihilate T16. Uh, similar to how Strafe Demon Hunter was last season with Impale or Strafe UE, where you're just running through and you're dominating rifts. I've played so many different classes in last season. And guys, I mean, Demon Hunter was just ridiculous. It was just ridiculous. Like, there's no class to compare to how easy, as well as how lazy, as well as how fast the Demon Hunter was. And I feel like in this season, there it's not quite as oppressive, I guess you could say. Um, but Demon Hunter still takes the cake for me in terms of speed running T16, which is going to be a lot of your earlier days of Diablo 3 here. 
Now, with that being said, pushing greater ifs, you can start to branch out and push a lot of different builds. Like I said, um, the monk has a lot of options here in pushing so uh, farther into the greater ifs, as well as Necro and Wizard. As I said, Tal Rasha, you're just dropping things like crazy, getting a ton of damage out. And again, really, really tanky. All these builds are very, very tanky, which allows you to push even further without fear, especially if you're playing in a hardcore, which I do. But more on that, uh, running something like the Necro and running Legacy of Dreams Corpse Explosion, or even some Death Nova builds, or even some uh, of these crazy other Army of the Dead builds. There's a lot of speed T16 Army of the Dead builds where you're just having the Army of the Dead, I forgot the rune on it, where it just circles around you and you're just running through everything and you're actually quite fast as well just some t16 speed farming options for that the wizard of course you can just do uh there's no magic missile speed farming which is what i love to use in season 27 but there are some other options as well that makes it quite solid the classes that i haven't really dove into quite yet for speed farming t16 or even the later greater f pushing is crusader and barbarian i found that crusader really um it took a while to get up and running Okay. as well as when i got it up and running it was just not impressive to me um it wasn't really um super exciting there wasn't like any clear advantage that the crusader got and so i didn't really push it too hard and so that that was my experience with the crusader as well as the barbarian um of course you're gonna still have some support builds that are available to some of these classes um like the necro and the, with the barbarian but with these kind of ability to push builds to the next level i feel like um a lot of times when you're playing solo now that you have those option the support classes are less appealing and uh, in that case you know you might want to pass up on it one other class i want to mention is the witch doctor uh, the witch doctor i guess you could say is uh left on the sidelines oftentimes uh, in a lot of different scenarios mundanungus isn't really i guess you could say super amazing um in terms of setting there wasn't really a big change but i found that the Witch Doctor actually did quite well, especially for the leveling process. Um, it did quite well. You know, running in with Pestilence and Locust Swarm is pretty solid. Again, with level 70 gear, Pestilence, when it starts to spread, it just one-shots everything, which is pretty nice. Of course, uh, you have AoEs and stuff that oftentimes one-shot too, so not like particularly amazing. But when you start to get that level 70 and onwards, uh, building out your, your Mundanungus or, you know, what I found to be really fun is actually the Angry Chicken build on the Witch Doctor. For those of you that don't know, um, you have a, or I actually forgot the name at the top of my head, but you have this sword and a chicken offhand where you're going to combo them together. You run, you turn into an Angry Chicken and you just run through everything very, very fast speeds. And it's actually a really nice T16 farming build for you guys it's actually really quite fast and i found that to be really really amazing actually comparable to the demon hunter sometimes and due to all the buffs of damage that you're getting it's actually perfect it's totally fine to run that earlier on into the season whereas other seasons i felt like i might have been missing a little bit of damage i might not i might be missing a little bit of tankiness and because you have the altar in this season you just can run through stuff and not have an issue with that which is super super important again it all goes back to how the altar changes season 28 build so to give you guys kind of like a recap all builds can push greater rifts i think that uh, overall the necro the wizard and uh, the demon hunter have been the most impressive for pushing greater rifts for me on top of that speed t16 farming it really comes down to demon hunter which doctor is actually quite solid as well as wizards quite solid uh, and also necro is quite solid of course all classes can be solid at some point but when i say that i mean they're easier to get up and running and easier uh to not have to kind of as you'd say finagle your way through each part of it but that's going to be kind of my uh my thoughts on what class you should be picking for season 28 hopefully that gives you kind of an idea again i suggest you guys just play whatever you want just just go ahead and, and, and play uh basically whatever you think is fun because all builds are great and well, all builds are viable for pushing those later greater rifts and due to that you could kind of do things that you otherwise would not have been able to do previously in other seasons and i hope to bring you guys some of those videos especially like i said i mean i was having a lot of fun with the witch doctor chicken build so i hope you, i can show you guys that um in the next season uh, as one of the t16 speed farming builds so without further ado guys if you enjoyed the channel if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to see more on up season 28 coming up soon. Be sure to sub and I'll see you all.